Hey everyone, Phil Montalioni here, the book peddler, coming to you with another YouTube video. If you haven't, I hope you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Book Peddler. You stay up to date on um, book picks, in-store, out-store activity. <laughs> um, sometimes I'll post specialized items. Everything's for sale that I show, um, and, the, and they can be found in the description below through my seller site. Um, not everything gets listed immediately, so if you see something on a video that you'd like to have, just reach out directly. We'll do direct business. Makes life easier for the both of us. Knocks out a middleman, right? So um, anyways, I'm, what I'm going to do in this video today is I've been getting a lot of messages of people interested in what I do during the week in this shop. Uh, kind of the aspects, I guess, of, of being a used bookstore owner and what that consists of. A lot of people are under the misconception that all I do all day is read. And I really wish that was the case because I, I love reading, but it's just not. I, I, I don't get nearly any time to, to read um, because there's so many aspects to this business and I'm constantly splitting time and trying to take care of it. I thought today would be a perfect opportunity to show you what I'm doing today and what generally happens during the week. I'm going to flip the camera here. I have to process all this stuff in front of my desk, in the bins. There's material on top of the counter. And check the back of the counter here. Look at all this. Lined up in rows. All this stuff has to be cleared. Look at the stuff in front of the cases. Um, this is what happens, and you get backed up quite a bit. Everything in front of this desk has to go online, under the desk, on top of it. All this is being processed. I'm trying to clear out this register here. It's getting colder out. And stuff gets packed away in the bins and kind of forgotten about. All this has to be removed. And, and that's what I'm working on today. I won't get it all done. But um, some of the stuff is fairly solid material. And I'm boxing it and putting it out front here. I'm taking it up to Brickhouse Salvaging Antiques. Where I, there's a book loft that um, Steve let me create. And uh, the girls help refine it, and um, we sell them a buck a piece, 50 cents, you know. So I also got in like four boxes of fishing books. So here's this section, and I've got to make room for them. And so I've been putting them online and putting them up. It's constant. Um, here's, here's an item I got in, a beautiful paperback rack. It's over five feet tall. It's got four rows going across and it's seven down and it goes on this and uh and spins around it's awesome since i'm dealing with such limited space i mean i think i found a space back here that i could put it and of course so what does this entail well getting this out of here and probably moving the shelf back a little ways so it's it's crazy but this is um look at all the magazines i gotta go through i have since I've 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 kind of grown, I'm gonna flip it, flip it to myself here. Since since I've grown as a business, what's happened now is I'm getting so many book picks and books being brought to the shop for sale, um, and it's backing me up tremendously. And uh, on top of it, I'm I'm always splitting time. I'm answering emails throughout the day of books I have listed up to try to make a sale. Um, I have to list at some point, so that's another thing that takes some time. And it's always like, well, what brings you the most value in the day? Now, I want to get the stuff on on the online world, um, because that's where a large percentage of sales is. But I have to get the stuff on the shelves as well and presented, um, because then it's more opportunity for a sale in the shop. And um, on top of that, all these social media platforms that I have to try to pay somewhat attention to and take care of. Um, so yeah, this is, during the week, it looks like a bomb. Um, flip it. You really can't even access it during the week because there's stuff cluttered all over the place. Um, I love what I do. I have a lot of fun doing it, but this is kind of the inner workings of uh, what goes on in, in a used bookstore. Um, so anyhow, I hope that kind of answers the questions of, of what my week, uh, life looks like in the shop. It's, uh, it's nonstop and you're, you're always, you know, you got to look up these books. You got to figure out a price point. 
there's a lot of things that go unseen. It's uh, romanticized a lot. A lot of people are like, oh, it's so cool. You live, you know, you live above your store and you get to do this every day. And I agree. It's awesome. It's not for everybody. Not everybody can do something like this because reality starts setting in. And it's like, oh, shoot, this is how I make my living. I got to maintain a house as well. And so it's it's a lot of work. Um, but anyhow, I, I hope that answers the questions. I hope you're enjoying my YouTube channel. If you haven't, please like and subscribe. And uh, I, I appreciate all the support out there. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.